This is chili Ted Chile Tid Chil Chilled Id. I guess. I don't know. I didn't get the title, honestly, and now a million comments are gonna be like, hey, it means this! So sorry I didn't catch that. Um Spell but... backwards, it's Dit Elich. How can you not know what that is? Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. My life is so much richer now. Thank you. I just wanted to help. You actually took away much from me by doing that. You know, do this your damn self. Much like how Lapis is trying to do it her damn self. Yes, tie it. It all came back. Um, so this is an episode where we try to figure out what's going on with Lapis. And was it Jasper? Jasper? What was the name of the evil one? I don't know. Do it your damn self. Okay. Uh, so the evil one is down there, and she's still trying to keep her down there. And it looks like they're fusing together to be called Malachite, which, as you know, we kind of like that name, so I'm totally down for that. Um, and, uh, yeah, Steven's just trying to show the gems how to dream, uh, you know, how to sleep, how to dream and stuff. Why would Pearl not dream? That, that's an interesting... Uh, uh, I mean, she did. She did eventually, but she's like, I don't think I've ever dreamed before. How does it work? So it's fascinating. Maybe the idea has to actually be put in their head for it to work. I don't know. Thanks for adding that. It's Jasper, by the way, you idiot. Thank you. What I say? Yeah, at first you tried to say Jesper. Oh, Jesper. <laughs> well, Jasper then. Uh, Casper with a J, got it. Um, just as friendly as you can see. I it's a she... rock, by the way. <laughs> I actually thought she was... You know, it's like, she was always, like, threatening, like, you know, but we didn't see much of her. But something about this one, just seeing, like, the idea that she could come back, and when you see her trying to reach for Steven and stuff, it's like, yeah, it's... And if it's, you want to know why Pearl doesn't dream, it's because she's too neurotic to dream. <laughs> Requires surrendering yourself to your id. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good explanation. No, I will not give in to the chaos! <laughs> well, and obviously they visualize, too, it looks like. Mm -hmm. um, but now do the rest of your damn self but I really need you. You're my fusion. Okay, if you get your head off me, I'll participate. I'm gonna have to watch this fucking thing. Twin zest! Okay. <laughs> um, even though he's older than me. That's, bra <laughs> that's breaking down the worlds, because that's Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls and Steven Universe can't mix. Rob, that's in the past. Gravity Falls is gone. No, it's, it's gone. never gone! It's gone! It's no! never coming back! What else? <laughs> Season 3 reunion is lightly maybe possible, what the creator said. But most unlikely, unlikely, likely. It's going to be so many Steven Universe fans that are just like, Talk about Steven Universe! <laughs> um, so no, I like the idea that, um, you know, this is, you know, showing them how to dream. The dream sequences are pretty cool. And yeah, it does kind of give us more insight to what is going on with uh, Lapis, I mean, not that we got a ton, but certainly you see that it's a constant fight. I sort of like seeing mentally inside how that fight works. I thought it was a very cool idea, sort of them, like, you know, one is constantly trying to drag the other under the water. It's almost like, what was that, a seesaw? Where, where the two had to keep balancing? Well, but it was kind of like that. I don't think they're really up. balancing. I just think they're chained to each other. So it's almost like there's an invisible tunnel underneath the ocean, and... You pull one, the other one goes down, you pull the other. Yeah, so. no, but that's why I'm saying. It's, it's like, like what, a, it's a tug fighting of for war. Yeah, fighting yeah. for control. No, actually, I thought that was a great image. I, I thought it was, too. I thought that, that actually was very was really amazing. Um, not as great of an image as Pearl riding on Rose's back and Rose turning into Steven's dad and then barfing a pizza tongue out <laughs> his slash her its nose. But <laughs> that, that was pretty creepy when that pizza was coming out the tongue. Ha! Like, that was actually, I was like, just, <laughs> since we added to the list of Pearl's dossier of, I'll tell you, the evidence is really building. I was like, this poor girl has a lot of issues. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I feel, now that I've seen her dream world, I'm like, man, I feel even more sorry for her. She's just messed up. <laughs> well, I like how Stevens was, says he may have some is issues to come to grips with at the end. Uh, she's the one that might, yeah, not I, only I, might be changing teens, but changing teens for someone that, like, stole her lover. <laughs> and, um, uh, well, I mean, it seems obvious Pearl's in love with Rose. It just, it, 
But the, the, that's not the issue. It's it's the poor way that it's a love triangle and she can't get over it. No, I like <laughs> that. Suddenly she it's sees, so sad. I just love that she sees Steven's dad there. Like, you know, hey, she's like, wah! But it's like her mind kind of put him there too and stuff, so. Well, because he stole her. That, from her. Let's ride through the galaxy together! <laughs> Wouldn't that be like... An interesting, like Pearl is the most whatever. fascinating character to me. No, I mean, but, hands down. Well, well, I love Garnet and Amethyst, but I'm like Pearl. I'm like, man, it's like peeling an onion. Just every new layer, you get something. How interesting would that be if, like, she goes by and like she actually gets an attraction for Steven's dad? That would just be so messed up because this is the guy that kind of stole her love. You know, like that would just be Have, like so. That that be. I don't see that happening. No, probably not. But just. That'd be so intriguing. It's like, she's so messed I don't know up. She's anyway. I, I don't know. Is she bi? I, I kind of just figured... No, I think they're all just attracted to their own kind. I think, like, t technically Rose is the bi one. Because <laughs> she went for someone that's Yeah, no, but I was asking that about male. Pearl. I don't... Is that, that nothing, how it works? No, I just... That, nothing's indicated I assumed that. it was, like, human sexuality, so it's just hetero, homo, bi. Like, but... No, I, I think with... Or, gems, or like transgender. I, I don't know. Again, with the gems, like modern it, society gets confusing sometimes. It, but it, a, but yeah, I just forget it was. It was just like our world. So she could be ahead of. Well, I, I mean, clearly, I think if she's into Rose, there's that. But whether it's that or by, I well, no, because here's know. the thing with the gems. Like we never see. They never say whether or not they actually like have sex or procreate or anything. It sounds well, like sure. Are they, they so androgynous? The concept of like gender and human sexuality would just confuse them. And see, that's my thought because we we still have is never it, seen a guy. Is it gem. really just about pure love? <laughs> I without all of the other physical attachments. I mean, we never have seen a, a male gem in any of this race. I, I'm really leaning towards that they don't exist. Uh, so, you know, this is sort of the image that And there are some that think dwarf like. women don't <laughs> exist, but oh, that's a so, silly notion. Well, which I think makes even more sense why Rose would be attracted, you know, to someone that's different, like, you know, a whole new, you know, creation and stuff. I don't know. Because I... uh, it's something totally new, and they haven't seen it before. It's uh, another story for down the road, I guess. We, yeah. We don't know yet. But, uh... The no, audience I, will tell us, but that's why I don't read the comments. Neither do I. <laughs> I already had a couple of Steven Universe things blown for me now, because I read it by accident. Other people posting elsewhere in, the, like, other groups. Like, and I'm like, shit! <laughs> I see, the only way I ever have anything ruined is by, like, if I'm on, like, Tumblr or DeviantArt or something like that, like, there's a fan art of something. It was not, a situ- it was a Not situ a fan yeah. art, but, like, a lot of fan arts. Because people do fan arts of it anything, was a but when there's a ton of a repeating image... It was one of visual. our other, like, producers' fan pages uh, and that I belong to, and, like, somebody was posting about Steven Universe. And so I'm, like, scrolling through Facebook, and I'm like, oh! Because <laughs> I don't read the comments, I don't... If somebody posts comments on my wall about Steven Universe... I scan ahead a little, but I'm kind of like one eye closed, like just to make yeah, sure I don't, I yeah, yeah, like so, but like, damn it, so. But uh, yeah, it's nice, so I kind of made the assumption that Lapis was going to come back. Well, first of all, it's way, oh yeah, well, way too interesting a character, way too good a design, way well, too good a backstory. Well, now there's fusion, and I'm like, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it seems like she'd have to come back, so I mean, it didn't surprise me, Uh, you know, but again, we're, we're not getting a ton. I mean, we do see visually how it works, and we know there's some sort of fusion making this Malachite thing, but we don't know a ton of, like, too much more about her that we didn't know before. So, yeah, I mean, it, it'll be cool to see even more, like, how that progresses and stuff. Um, By the way, Garnet's way of falling asleep is also mine. Mine too. I we just, are. When we need to yeah, sleep, think. it's, like, gone. If you put, if you turn the TV on and put me in a bed or on a couch, like... If you've got a few minutes. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, no, it's I, I can pretty much sleep anywhere. The uh, my and, wife, I think you said your wife is the same. It like takes forever. To like, nope. Yeah, no, it, it takes it for a long time. If I've had a like, bunch of caffeine right before I go to bed, sure. But otherwise, see, it makes me even more tired. But I'm a freak that way. Um, is that like your super secret mutant power? Who gets yeah, tired ca from caffeine? No, caffeine, like especially in coffee, actually makes me relaxed and tired. Are for you years. sure you're not just getting a caffeine high and then crashing an hour later? I don't. I whenever people have ordered coffee, like at the end of dinner, I always put together that it's like, oh, like you have coffee to sort of relax, like it's the end of the evening. I never put together that people. It's to keep them up, to keep them staying up, because it always 
made me want to sleep. Yeah, but see, my problem with ordering coffee at the end of dinner is if you're doing that, you're eating out, and odds are you've just had a big meal. It's only to just wake you up back to the base level, because honestly, you're just going to be tired still anyway. Cause you just see, to me, it meal. just relaxes me. That's always what I thought of with coffee. It, but I know I'm I'm the weirdo. I'm the one, like, you know, I, I have coffee in the morning with that my wife, but I don't need it. If anything, to have a nice, relaxing start the Worst to the day. mutant power ever. I agree. It's really stupid. I don't know why. Uh, and what's your secret power? Me. Coffee makes me tired. Yeah, that's why energy drinks, none of that does anything for me. But everyone tells me I don't need them anyway. <laughs> like so I those scenes energy. in Nightmare on Elm Street when they're all drinking coffee, they, you would have been dead. You would have been Freddy Krueger shish kebab. Yeah, no, that, that will You would have been the up. first to die because you've been drinking coffee and like... <laughs> but I, I don't have... Like, I go to sleep so fast and I sleep so deeply that it's like I have a ton of energy the rest of the day. So it's like I don't need coffee i don't need energy drinks well aren't um, you perfect <laughs> <laughs> well no because i don't see how if i need more energy i can't get it there's no way for me to get it i have to sleep well that's how i get more energy and meat meat actually gives me energy so you're like mega man but if you get an energy tank it drains your energy kind of or it's like a different energy. Wow, we're really not talking okay, about Steven Universe. you're a fucking freak. Got okay, it. no, I already um, knew that. But <laughs> let, let's talk about Steven Universe. Um, I think we're done. I, what else was there? Besides the return of Dogcopter, that was amazing. Dogcopter. I like uh, Garnet's goggles come back. And what, what was, how would Pearl describe the life preservers as life diapers? Oh, life diapers. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. That's kind of true. I always felt like, like on a cruise ship when they do like... Uh, uh, the the drills or whatever, and you have to yeah. put the life jacket. On. Anytime I've worn a life jacket, I have felt like a two year old. Yeah, I feel like a toddler. Like yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go swimming. <laughs> yeah, we need them. I mean, they're. I'm, yeah. not yeah. that, I'm not saying that. I'm not gonna say Rob Walker says don't use your life jacket. <laughs> I'm not anti life jackets. I'm anti life. <laughs> uh, I just that's how I feel though. It's like the, you cannot look dignified in a life jacket. <laughs> it is impossible. The people you on the Titanic look <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Well, they didn't care. They were dead. Um, <laughs> Too soon. You look... There's a Titanic, too. <laughs> There's an anime in Titanic. No, well. no, I'm serious. They actually built a replica of the ship, and it's going to sail, and it's called Titanic 2. <laughs> really? Yeah. And honestly... That's too soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're really getting sidetracked here. So, uh, you yeah, brought it up! <laughs> no, th this is a funny episode that also has some nice, you know, sort of dark cryptic stuff. Uh, it ties into the story a little bit more. I like that, that for the info. most part, outside of Ronaldo, uh, most of these have been good episodes that are furthering the plot. Yeah. I feel like I'm learning more and more faster and faster about what's going on, and I enjoy that. But we're but we're also learning more about, like, their culture and how they act. I'm trying to understand dreaming and stuff like that. And it's one of those things where, I don't know, it's hard for me to get tired of that cliche, the show me more of this human thing or whatever, but it leads to so many great analogies. Like, I love that, you know, they're dreams. They're usually hard to explain, which is why oh. they're really boring to oh. listen to. It's like, the most, man, did that nail it. The most true moment in the uh, in the show was yeah when you tell other people about dreams then it suddenly becomes boring yeah that is so true no I thought that was so well put whenever um, people tell me like, I had the weirdest dream and they start telling me at first I'm just yeah, like go ahead ooh this will uh, be interesting in about like thirty seconds into it I'm like Arr. yeah I'm like if you're gonna tell me a dream anybody keep it short um, I don't need or dream. add more nudity yes. Keep it short, add more nudity, maybe some violence. It's like the internet. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. We will see you at the next one. Later.